We're here at Air Venture Oshkosh, and we came over to look at something we've been hearing about this little teeny tiny autopilot system that has unbelievable facts about it. So we came to get the actual facts. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking to Andrew from True Track, and take me through the thing you just did with how it was and how it's going to be. And then we're going to ask Ananda from Level to step in here too because you guys have partnered up. True That's Track right. and Level have partnered up to make this magic happen. That is Give me the details. Yep, Andrew. absolutely. Keep in mind. Yeah, thanks, Dan. So basically what we've done here is we were looking at the problems that existed in our minds, at least, uh, in the experimental world today. So you look at the entry level, look at aircraft like Sonex and Zenith and things like that. And these are aircraft that pay a large penalty by if you add weight to them. So the typical autopilot servo here weighs about two and a half pounds. Yeah, so a fairly like hefty thing. And this is only one axis. That's just one axis, that's right. So a normal autopilot install is going to cost you about seven pounds, plus or minus a little bit there. So it's also fairly expensive to install. So if you look at a standard autopilot system, even a very low cost entry level system for two axes, uh, we can sell you that, and that's $2,100, which is not too terrible. Uh, but Compared to the way it used to be, that's quite a deal. But that's continue right. On. That's right. So you look at the way it used to be. That's the seven-pound, $2,100 system. So what we're introducing here today is a one-pound complete system. So this is now actually a roll server or a pitch server for this system. We're using a small, lightweight, actually it's an RC servo. Is that right, really? Call, okay. Yep, yeah, that's what we call a uh, servo tab. So you have a sealed uh, metal gear ball bearing servo here that's got a very quick response when we ask it to do something. So we're actually driving a tap. So instead of the traditional we're attached to the physical controls of the aircraft, so you have to worry much more about things like failures of this servo for safety side of things. So with a servo tab, our worst case scenario is that it runs all the way to one side. And now we're just putting a force into the control system. We're not locking it, we're not putting a position into it. It's just like you're flying a mistrained aircraft, which actually gives us a huge benefit. A mistrained aircraft will turn, of course, or pitch. So what we've actually designed into this autopilot is also what we call AEP. Well, let's look at this just a moment here. Let me interrupt sure. you to say, yeah, this is the coolest little wind tunnel I've seen, and it does double duty here. Not only is it bringing air by here for what Andrew's going to demonstrate to you, but very clever, it blows cool air on the people in this hot room in here, so not too bad. All right, please continue. Well, you know, as an engineering nerd myself, I've always <laughs> wanted to build a wind tunnel, so this was my opportunity to do so. All right, so show us how it works here. What are we doing? So here's actually, a, this would be like a wing or a stabilizer. This would be an aileron or an elevator. This is actually our servo tab here at the back of that. So when AEP is armed, that's what we call it, automatic envelope protection then this controller is just watching what you're doing in the aircraft. It's not doing anything to fly the airplane, but it's watching very carefully. If you hit a limit, if you hit a pitch limit, you'll see it says AEP on there. I see, I've okay. actually got the roll servo turned on right now, not the pitch one. I've got a switch on the back here for this demo. Okay. So now I'll increase the bank angle, and you'll see once um, I hit the max bank, you get a deflection of the servo tab, which then, of course, deflects the control surface. So you get not only the visual feedback, you get the aircraft makes the movement back inside the envelope, but you also get the force feedback directly in the stick because essentially we've oh, mistrimmed okay. the aircraft. So you get three different so you're kinds sense of alert. It that's right. Tactile. That's that's right. We give you a tactile feedback. And the same thing happens in the in the pitch axis there as well. Okay. Of course, an autopilot without an autopilot isn't much of an autopilot. So here I'll engage the roll axis <laughs> autopilot. Okay. And here you can actually see now this is the autopilot response to this in the roll axis, and the same thing happens in the pitch axis. So I can turn the autopilot back off, and AEP stays armed because I didn't physically turn it off. So now I have the safety of the system that can remain armed while I'm flying the autopilot, and I turn it off, and I still have the safety feature. And the safety feature, again, is doing what for us when you're not using autopilot to actually do the work? When the autopilot is disengaged, AEP is our automatic envelope protection, keeping you safely flying inside a predetermined by you. Ah, okay. The That's where I was the getting system, to. So you set a in, limit. To That's it. right. You set a this bank limit. This is how much I want it to not go beyond. That's correct. That's and exactly right. And then it'll right. automatically do that whether you're paying attention or not. That's exactly right. Now, That's very It really cool. helps a lot in that turn to final, that base turn to final that is such a, a dangerous thing that, that gets a lot of people. They have a lot of stall span accidents. 
we're trying to really help alleviate that stall spin issue. Well, I know FAA is talking a lot about uh, uh, angle of attack indicator. That's a great thing, but that just tells you something. That That's doesn't correct. do something. That is yeah. correct, and we're trying to take an active approach here. We actually designed this system to hopefully one day be a certified system that could go into the certified aircraft and help that 160,000 people instead of just a 30,000 we can in the experimentals. Today. Well, I'm sure FAA will pay a lot of attention to that because that is very cool. So, uh, did I also understand that this has a nice price tag attached like to it? It does. That is exactly So excited, right. I can't even talk. <laughs> the, uh, the Eco is intro price, actually, at $1,000. That gets you the control head. This is actually a large one just for demos. The thousand dollar system would get you a control head and this your is, two This servos. is that same thing, only right. smaller. This is board. the actual production. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So we're planning to begin shipping of this in September of this year. And intro price is a thousand, like I said. <laughs> Long term price is going to go up a whole bunch to twelve hundred. <laughs> wow. Now, well, okay. So yeah. compare that again now. Seven pounds, twenty one hundred dollars. That's correct. And that's, that's been doing right. the job a long time. True Track's got right. quite a name for it. Been doing some great work for a while, but now thousand dollars initial in, a little bit more later, and right. and almost no weight. That's exactly right. And the automatic envelope protection that I'm guessing the old one does not do. That's correct. AEP is a brand new concept that um, we're trying to, yeah. to kick off here. And did you say today was your announcement day? Uh, we actually announced it one week ago. So okay, Thursday one week last week is but very the, fresh the information for our YouTube oh, watchers. Yes, absolutely, that's correct. Um, another thing I want to talk about uh, the level here. Make a nod to come in here and talk just a little bit. Um, none of this is possible without the Level A Hertz. The Level A Hertz is the heart and soul of this system. Come on in here, Ananda. Giving it that precious attitude information for us to be able to do that AEP. Uh, tell us a little bit about your participation with Andrew and TrueTrack on this. What is what has Level got to do with all of this? We designed the guts, basically, of Eco, um, all the A parts, performance, pitch roll, all the determination of when you exceed that maximum limitation for the AEP. The settings that you the put device. in, that the pilot chooses to put in. Right, right. So it uses the, the same AR technology that we use on our eye level uh, series. And, uh, and you can expect this basically the same performance. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was over just over at your booth. We did a video there moving your uh, devices around. It's very responsive on the iPad that you have. So you're but that same technology is in here. The same exact technology. <laughs> now, does that mean in here is where the level stuff is, or is there another box that's yeah, the level the, stuff? The the A part, the same exact A part that we use on the level is here. Goes um, into this control. It, it goes into there. Uh, and then there's a, a little bit more technology. There's a different circuit board basically just to call the screen and all of your interfaces AEP on. And, and, and uh, that programming magic that happens behind the right, thing. right. We pilots need buttons we can push, and the rest of it's up to you and Andrew. <laughs> so it's it. This is now the whole package. This little teeny tiny thing here. We'll set this one aside. This is it. That's it. This is too small. You need to go make it bigger. We can make Just it bigger and more expensive. <laughs> that's not a problem. <laughs> that's an excellent development. We commend you both for that. This is actually the uh, the trim tab on his RV10. <laughs> We have a uh, RV9 and the, the trim tab is actually a little bit small. Uh, so it, it will depend on, on each airplane, but this is the size that you're looking Wow, this is a, yeah, of course we're not talking about the metal panels here. We're talking about this part right here. That's the part doing the work in conjunction with this. That's an unbelievably small package, a light package, a lightweight, and a light price. That's quite an achievement. Okay, so. Let's get two pieces of information from me here. We uh, want to get the, uh, you can keep the microphone for a moment because let's ask you for the level web address. We'll put it up on screen. Just tell us where, where to go. Okay. The web address is abh.level.com. Okay. And I uh, give the mic back to Andrew. Where do we find True Track and the rest of this? You're actually going to be the purchase point for this, right? That's correct. Level is we'll contributing to this. True Track. That's you're right. going to do the work. That's okay. correct. So, so tell us how we find you, Andrew. Uh, of course, the True Track website is truetrackap.com. You can give us a, a look on there and we've got information on Eco and of course all the other fine true track products on That's right. You've got a lot of other neat stuff including some panel mount information and more. So all that's available at True Track AP. True Track AP. True track AP. That's right. You got it. I've written about that, written about level and you can find all kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Andrew, Ananda and myself here at AirVenture Oshkosh.